Hello and welcome to another video of data science and machine learning do it yourself. In this video we're going to talk about data structures in R. So what are data structures? They are the collection of elements or data. First one is vector. It's a collection of data elements with the same data type like numeric, character, uh, boolean, factors are the collection of categories. It can be of data types, string or numeric, doesn't matter. Example, gender, it can have only two possible categories, male, female, for any class, type, category, status, active, inactive, in progress, completed. These are the categories which are defined as factors. We're going to drill into detail. Lists are collection of elements similar to vectors, but it can have different data types. Matrices, collection of data elements in a form of a matrix. And data frames, it's a collection of vectors or factors. We're going to talk about de in detail as well for data frames which are the most important data structures in R. For now, we're going to concentrate on vectors. They are a collection of data elements of the same data type. To find out the data type, we'll use the function type of vector. Please notice that the font is italics for, for any command in R and I'm going to show you a hands-on demo right now. So let's create a vector produce as banana, banana peppers, apple and pineapple. Produce is the vector. This is the assignment operator. C is the collection of banana, comma, banana peppers, comma, apple, an apple. Let's do that in R. So in the last video, we have installed R so produce is now a vector with the list. Just type produce and you can see the values of produce as the vector. Please note that the command is pasted in the description of the video. You can feel free to copy or just write or type out yourself on the screen. Let's create another vector for inventory and then for refill, which is, if you look at it, these are four elements. Banana has inventory eight, and yes, refill required. Banana peppers with four as the number of inventory, and true is the refill is required. Apple, 40, no refill. An apple, 50, no refill. So let's create this vector. Inventory and can type inventory again. Refill. Please note that the vector variable R is is case sensitive. Let's type uppercase object not found. So R is case sensitive. Let's use the type of function. It's a logical type of refill. Type of inventory double type 
type of produce character. So these are the data types of the vectors. So the vector with square brackets with a number of the elements is going to give you the listed elements in order. So produce one is banana, produce two is banana peppers. Inventory one would be eight. So please let, let's follow the exercise as we go in the video. Now time for some time for some hands-on. Feel free to pause the video now and let's get started. So hands-on exercise number two. Create the following vec vectors. Customer NM with elements David, John, Jeff, Steve, Swati, Nikki, Lisa. Please note that you need to put double quotes for the character elements. Gender, age, income, sales amount. And then display the elements and data types of these vectors. Thank you for watching.